Distinguished guests, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pride that I welcome each and every member of this eminent gathering to the sixth annual Forevermark Forum in this charming, erudite and historic city of Calcutta. I'm gratified to see our esteemed partners in the audience, and I thank you all for taking off time and be here with us. In today's time and age, to commit yourself for two to three days is a big sacrifice, and we totally appreciate the same. For all of us at De Beers, we very highly value your commitment, and your presence means a lot to us. Your continued presence also validates the fact that the Fur of Mark Forum is a unique platform for the key players in the diamond industry to exchange ideas, disseminate information, highlights our faith in the power of dialogue, and the sense that we have as a community. Over the years, we've moved to make the forum to a truly knowledge share platform and bring out the view of the future. So please make the most of this. I encourage you all to absorb as much from this platform as we are all here to learn from one another and really build up this common purpose that we're here for that's a better and a stronger diamond business. This year, we have over 400 participants representing 200 organizations from all over the globe. Please join me in welcoming our growing partners from almost all parts of India, our esteemed partners from Middle East, our partners from Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, Belgium, USA, and Canada. I also extend this courtesy to our senior colleagues and members from United Kingdom, Italy, China, Botswana, and Singapore. This is a sign that the forum has truly become a global platform. This year, the theme of the forum is Innovate, Inspire, Illuminate. What do these words mean, and why are these the most important in the current time period? Before I get on to elaborating the theme, let me ask you a question. What does your business sell? G to H color, loose polished, fancy shapes, fancy colors, VVS to SI clarity, four greeners, for some of you, the answer might be all of the above. But in a very important sense, I would suggest the answer be none of the above. Because in the diamond business, we don't sell crystallized carbon. We sell meaning, we sell love, and we sell emotion. And what we sell needs to be and is inherently valuable because it's bought to reflect the emotions, events, and ideals that are valuable to our consumers. And we as diamond people are really lucky to represent and sell a category that has a history like none other. Every diamond has a deeper connection and meaningfulness than its physical properties. And it is innately connected to the memories and life occasions. All that we do, mining, sorting, cutting, polishing, designing, manufacturing, and retailing, directs to the most important occasion. And that is when a father walks into your store looking to buy a pair of diamond bangle for his only daughter's wedding. Or when a husband walks into your store looking to buy a pair of diamond solitaires for his wife on the 10th anniversary. You know, that moment is the reason why we are here. And we want to improvise it and get better at. I urge that all of us have to feel joyful and proud of what we enable. You know, we enable that smile. We enable that heart-touching feeling. You know, you have to gain confidence that through you, right at this moment at your store, somebody is building the history and somebody is experiencing the most memorable occasion of their lifetime. Moving closer to the theme and why we believe that the relevance of innovating, inspiring, and illuminating is paramount in today's time. I believe that to innovate, to inspire, and to illuminate is a continuous process. It's a journey. And we need to answer just one person. And you know, that person is your biggest opponent and your biggest ally, your own self. We have to have this faith that we're constantly evolving and doing better, both in small ways and big ways, because change is not an option anymore. It is a must for us to flourish and excite our businesses forward. I will touch upon two paramount reasons today. And that's one is permanence, and the second is the world around us. Let's talk about permanence. When you look at the Fortune 100 list about 10 years back, and when you look at the list in 2017, a lot of these organizations have disappeared. It, this aspect is happening at the world stage, and our industry, too, is a privy to this aspect. A lot of organizations that were powerhouses in retailing and manufacturing haven't been able to maintain their position of strength. No organization is born with the right or title to be the market leader forever. There has to be a lot done across the years to remain a leader. I would like to talk about this wonderful organization that I work for and I feel exceptionally proud about, and that's De Beers. De Beers has been on the forefront of shaping the diamond business for over 125 years, right from the times when it was founded in 1888 
to the time of setting up consolidated mines in 1926, to the facing the World War crisis, to the most iconic year for the industry and for India, the year 1947, where we came out with the slogan, a diamond is forever, and fast forwarding to current times of the 90s and 2000s where we build up a lot consumer demand, to setting up forever mark where we bring in transparency and confidence to this new age consumer and a business model that is unique and relevant for today's time period, to now developing cutting edge technology for the industry to deal with synthetics. All these aspects have been fundamental to this perpetual existence of De Beers. We know the world is evolving, and to stay around for long term, we have to imagine a completely different future and take actions and decisions that don't just impact your today, but also your tomorrow. Building a long term business a few decades ago could have been possible by keeping on doing the things that you do well. But in today's time period, you have to envisage your business as a completely different one. You know, you have to be constantly curious, try out new approaches, involve the young in deciding, ask more questions. And all these approaches are must if you are planning to pass on this magnificent business to the next generation. There are numerous examples of organizations who have been leaders in their own spaces and have continued to evolve. There have been others who have stayed same and have seen their leadership position gone in front of their own eyes. The second area I'd like to talk about is dynamic environment in which we live and how innovation is impacting our daily lives. I would like to share some insights of the, uh, and pointers from the outside world industry which will impact us much, much faster and how different industries are moving ahead with innovation and inspiration. You know, I was a part of a conference where Mr. Murthy of Infosys showed the Infosys campus. He mentioned that there are 22,000 people working at this campus and with the advent of artificial intelligence, the amount of work that this entire team churns out will be delivered by 190 people in precisely half that time. There's a lot happening in artificial intelligence, even in retail. We all need to be aware of these and incorporate them in our business. Elon Musk, who's the founder of SpaceX and Tesla, while on his passion to create alternative energy forms, he has started work on figuring out human colonization on Mars. And while a concept like this a few years ago might sound like a dreamer's mind, but in today's time period, he has set out a clear time frame as to when this will happen. Google launched last year one of its most interesting apps called the Google Arts and Culture. They are in the process of digitizing all museums, all, uh, all works of art, all monuments across the globe, and these will be viewable on gigapixel technology on a touch of your smartphone. You can search paintings by color, blue paintings, red paintings, you can search them by mood, happy paintings, sad paintings, and I'm certain there will be an impact of how our consumers will search our products in the coming future, and that will be in the vocabulary that they are comfortable in. You know, we all have accounts on Facebook where I've got random requests on Farms Villa and Candy Crush Saga, do this, do that. We all weren't really happy on responding to those requests, honestly. But, you know, these two were both very simple games, but got socially viral. Two stark realities. The founders of both these games are worth $10 billion each. That's whooping 65,000 crores. But most importantly, over 50% of the addicted players on these games are women aged 30 to 50 who are spending a minimum of three hours every day on these games. And we are wondering, why is the ad that we put in the magazine not having any response? So there are some incredible innovations happening in retail. The usage of augmented reality, usage of mirror walls, the way search is happening within stores, seamlessness of information share with consumers between retail, online, omni-channel, within homes, within stores. The point I'm trying to make is that there is a commonality amongst all these approaches. They have been ahead in the curve of anticipating the consumer's need much before the consumer really needed it. We need to be observant of the lives our consumers are leading and how new aspects will impact them. Moving closer to our industry, when you think about the product, the diamonds, and what they mean to people who give them, what they mean to people who, who wear them, or people who mine them or manufacture them, it is extremely important for us to understand that diamonds are precious, they're rare, they're finite, and have an enduring value. So we at De Beers are compelled as the world's leading diamond company to create whatever needs to be done to protect that preciousness and create meaningful, meaningfulness to the today's consumer and connect to their lives that, are, that they're leading today. The question is, 
Are we all doing enough to constantly evolve and be future ready? And that's a job for everybody sitting in this room today. We, as we all are a common part of this pursuit, we need to understand that every relationship is different. Every consumer, or rather every person, loves something, aspires for something, and perhaps has lost something. We need to know that consumers have differentiated needs and desires. The answer to this is different approaches, different strategies, different product, and different messages. Today, a consumer who walks into your store with a budget of 5 lakh rupees looking to buy a pair of diamond bangle has a completely different motivation than a consumer who walks into your store with just a credit card, living a virtual life, you know, has more reasons to buy a product, but needs a compelling reason, a storytelling, some modern retail therapy to indulge in a category. You know, I'll also touch upon one more area that's been of common discussion amongst all of us, and that's the role of internet in our business. Consumers today have constant access to information. They are spending a seamless life between real world and online world. Opinions are getting more and more democratic. How many likes on your post has become the new measure of one's popularity and social acceptance. The impact of traditional forms of media is completely diluting. And there's a lot of discussion about addiction on the digital world, and not just millennials, but all generations are hooked onto this virtual world. Now, what does this mean to our business? For a minute, if I were to imagine a world where all physical stores migrate to e-commerce and precious jewelry is available only online, I think this business will perish in a decade. We at De Beers strongly feel about the physicality in our business, the relevance of your physical stores. We believe that our product is an emotional product, consumers will touch and feel our product, they will surprise one another, and they will want to be certain as to how they feel you know, inside their hearts when they put the diamond solitaires on. The key for us is to understand how we need to evolve our retail stores, create meaningful and engaging content online, look at business beyond the four walls, and be meaningfully a part of this new life. At Forevermark, we are working with a lot of experts across the globe, to, and you will witness a lot of ideations that we have in the brand area, and a lot of ideations that I will share with you in the next few minutes, which are attempts for all of us to be ready to deal with this new changing world and evolving digital and e-commerce space. A diamond is forever. Hira hai sada ke liye. This has been the last century's most effective advertising slogan, which connected diamonds and eternal love in the minds of the consumer. You know, it wasn't that diamonds last for so long because they are the hardest substance on earth, but rather the sense of timelessness reflects the perfect nature of long-term relationships. This line for us at De Beers is more than an advertising slogan. It is a perfect encapsulation of the truth that we sell far more than the physical product, and we know diamonds are unique, they're rare, and have deep meaning in the lives of the consumers. We are witnessing clear trends of shifting roles of meaningfulness of diamonds in our consumers' lives. We increasingly see diamonds as a symbol of self-expression. There are more and not less occasions that matter, which can be marked by the magic of diamonds. For women, diamonds are reflecting a sense of pride, being independent, being free, being successful, and diamonds can play a very important, you know, can play a very important role in the self-expression. There is certainly a lot changing and evolving, and we must be able to capitalize on the meaningfulness of what diamonds encompass to this modern age consumer. And that's what exactly brands can help you achieve. Brands are the vessels in which meanings are carried. They are the vehicles through which diamond messages are conveyed. They are the tools to transport Diamond's latent story in the minds of the consumers, and we believe that Forevermark, amongst the world's most powerful brands, is doing exactly that job. It brings with us over 125 years of De Beers expertise and turning consumer insight into meaning for the consumers. Going back in time, when we conceptualized Forevermark, we knew the issues of consumer confidence. We knew synthetics will become a large play. We envisage that consumers will get more and more interested in provenance and ethics, and not just diamonds, but brands and stronger collaborations will be the answer to deal with this new reality. And hence, Forevermark is our step to innovate, is our step to inspire, and is our step to illuminate. At this stage, I'd like to show you a short video which encapsulates all that we've achieved together with each and every one of you. Can I please have the video of the year that was?
this was the impeccable craftsmanship. The fact that your Forever Mark has such strong, stringent policies of anti-bribery, there are stringent policies of ethical sourcing, it made me feel very reassured that I was doing the right thing. round of applause to all of you because we achieved all of this along with you.